What's up, guys? Brandy Bits here, and we are back in Brownie Land for a brand new episode. Today's episode is going to be a little different than we have in the last, or a little different of an episode than the last couple of episodes. The reason is, I I think as far as what we've done so far, I think we're we're okay. Um, and by okay, I mean I don't think we really need to spend um. Another episode, at least today, we will definitely come back and work uh, some more on this because I want to add like a blacksmith um, and maybe even like some sort of armor or, or something um, that uh, that would fit with this. So we have, um, you know, I, I want to make sure that everything kind of makes sense. So. Um, yeah, basically today I want to do something a little different. As you can see, I've started placing down some grass, but I have this pathway right here that is actually going to be something different. That is actually going to be the pathways around the area, which I'm really excited about. So, um, yeah, so the, the pathways themselves, you can see kind of the, the housing area and everything. I really, really like how this is uh, starting to shape up. It looks really nice to me, and um, yeah, I, I, I really like it. But one issue that... Oh, no. Well, let's go ahead and get this intro out of the way then. Uh, one issue I have is we have this glowstone leading this way, and then um, if I were to fly over here, we have glowstone leading off that way but we don't have paths so that's what I want to work on today I want to at least get the pathway that goes uh, over to here and then the pathway that gets uh, hooked up with Alawick in some way shape or form I think that would be very very important um, and what I would like to do with the one that goes to Alawick so for for reference, guys, also, to keep the snow from spawning, I've put down a whole bunch of pressure plates up here. And this is super fun. For, for reference, guys, if I were to go directly that way, I would run into Alawick pretty darn quickly. Another reference, guys, um, I don't have... Oh, you can actually see in, in the corner there... Um, there is Alawick. <laughs> that's the our, that's our storage building. That's how close we are. Um, looking directly on, we we can't see it, but we're that close. Um, and then right there is actually the building, uh, the collapse building that uh, Wondering Nerd and I built in our style series. And uh, what I would like to do is have the pathway, rather than going out the direction I had originally intended, I would kind of like for it to kind of wrap around this way. Go down the side of this mountain and then kind of cross over, go past that house, and then go and, and cross over into Alawick or meet up somehow with uh, that bridge. I think there is a way over there somewhere that we could hook up the pathway, but I really, really like this idea. I think that would be very fantastic to have this kind of wrap around, go down the side of the hill, cross over the river there, and then wrap into Alawick one way, shape, or form. So... That's the plan so far. Um, so let me go ahead and gather up the resources I need. And uh, this might be a little talky episode, but hey, we're going to have some fun. So I'm going to go ahead and gather up what I need. And I <laughs> will be right back. I'm... Oh my gosh. It is... I really like the... the... Yeah. Anyways, guys, <laughs> I'll be right back. Alright guys, and welcome back. I have gathered up the grass that I wanted. Um, now, this is not going to be entirely, basically, what I'm going to do. Um, oh, I'm going to have to uh, dig out these areas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think what we'll do is, we'll just make a big square at this moment in time. But eventually, um, it's, it's basic... We're going to make it dirty, basically. That's that's the plan. Um, because we don't want it to be perfect and beautiful and everything like that, because that's boring. Perfect and beautiful, especially with this type of setup, 
is is boring is boring and one thing to show you guys to show you that it's not perfect and beautiful these tents on either side of the thing does not match up so that was one thing that's the design element that's kind of small excuse me sir that is mighty rude don't do that anyways yes so um that's that's one thing i wanted and uh, the main importance is um, yeah, it, it's, these guys would not be building perfect areas, and these pathways are not meant to be perfect either, and the reason is because these, um, pillagers, when they go out to pillage, they may not take the exact same path, so the, the idea is that these, uh, these pillagers wouldn't make a perfect path for their area because why should they waste their time when they could be out, you know, pillaging, gathering up um, different uh, different goods and um, treasures from the 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 people that they uh, they pillage from. So that's the idea. And uh, I think we're going to kind of wrap it around this way. And this is kind of some of the stuff that I w want to uh, kind of work with. Um, so we'll do this. That's decent. I don't really like this. But I don't really have a choice in that. That's not too bad. I think we, we, I think we did a little bit better. And obviously we're going to be doing some work around the pathways and everything like that. Because we want to symbolize kind of this overgrown nature of uh, this area. Um, you know, something that uh, I don't like how perfect that is. Um, oops. Something that it basically shows that this area, the normal, you know, people that would come and, uh, you know, like the travelers and everything, they wouldn't be up here because they know this outpost is here and they know the type of people that are in there. So that's the plan. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get some work done on this and uh, I'll come back to you uh, in just a little bit. Once Now that we know kind of what the, uh, the idea is, I got to chop some trees down. I got to clear out some areas. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back um, so that we can get this pathway kind of hooked up over there and we'll start over there as well. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right, guys, and welcome back. So um, yeah, I... I don't really like to do talky episodes. Sometimes my episodes turn into talky episodes. And that's not something that I want to uh, make a ton of. But um, I think I do want to do one today. And it's it's going to hit basically home <laughs> for me right now. Uh, so one major thing that I run into, um, and I'm sure you guys have seen it and you can pick it out whenever it does happen. But I run into some issues with basically having creative block um it's not something that i really like to have it's something that really quite annoys me in all reality and um that is just it, it's something that i really wish i didn't have but you know what you gonna do so one thing that i think is really important is how you come out of that block. Um, do you come out of it swinging? Do you come out of it kind of in a uh, in a slower mode where you're like, okay, so I've got this inspiration now, but I don't want to to waste it. And that's that's a major question for a lot of people. And I think it's an important question to ask yourself. How do I deal? Ooh, this is a steep drop, and I think we're just going to do this number here um it'll save us some some effort in the long run i think that's fine uh, i don't really like the fact that it's like this but we can say that the pillagers basically did this so that they didn't have to worry too much i think we have to do this one more time there we go yeah that's not too bad and then we'll just kind of drop down like uh so 
Beautiful. Okay. But yeah, so that's a question that I think is a really important question, and I don't think gets asked enough, especially of the YouTuber, you know, community. Um, it's something that I haven't really asked myself at all, and it's something that has kind of really popped into my head as I'm sitting here with so, so very much inspiration. I have been building this, you know, for two days, basically. Like, I mean, I just, I, I want to get on and build. And I, I have so many ideas. I've got lore ideas. I've got this and that, you know, creating a story with the builds. And like, what what else can I build that is going to help the overall story of basically what I'm working on? And it's it's something that I'm sitting here, I'm like, I hope my inspiration doesn't run out. Um, because it, you know, it very much has where I just can't even open the game. It's not, it's, it's not like I'm sitting here like, Oh, I don't, I just don't feel like playing. It's, it's a matter of, I don't have any reason to open the game, you know? Cause I'm like, well, I basically, I'm going to force myself to record and I don't want to do that, uh, because that's, that's content that I don't want to make. Um, oh, we're going to have a, a crossing area over here that we're going to have to dig out here. Which is cool. Cool. And then we will... I, I need to stop breaking that stuff with a shuffle. We'll come over here. It'll come up over here. And basically, there's Chevalier. And it'll come up here. And then kind of spiral down this way here. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Alright. So... Yeah, we have this. So the the question, like I said, is how how do I respond after basically losing inspiration? Um, I think that's an Im important question to ask yourself because that will basically kind of define how you look at things moving forward. And the the real thing about this is I I don't know I don't know how I respond. Um, I don't respond well normally. Let's go ahead and kind of wrap this up a little bit. We'll do this number here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we'll do, yeah. I think what we should do is kind of basically, we'll just kind of make this pathway like this and just go straight. And then at that point, after we've gotten everything kind of situated as far as what the uh, the pathway is going to look like and where it's going to go, I think at that point we will kind of tear out the grass and just go from there. I think that'll work. Um, but yeah, I don't have an answer. Like that's that's one thing that I really don't like, and I I kind of wanted to play around with some ideas as to what possibly could be the answer to that question for myself. And I think one important thing to to realize is that as of recently, life, my real life has really been a big inspiration killer. Um, stress has been a major portion of it. Um, and I've been using this game as a stress reliever, and if it, like, kills my inspiration to the point where I just, I can't do it anymore, like, that, that's not fun for me, you know, that's really sad, and, and I really, really like this game, I think we'll just go straight here, I don't think we have to do anything too crazy with this, uh, yeah, I think that's fine, but, um, yeah, I, it's, it's really sad for me. When I'm I'm sitting here, I'm like, I don't want to play this game. That is a major stress relief for me because I'm too stressed out, or I I'm too worried about such and such, or or, or whatever the case may be. Um, so I think a major response that I have to that is whenever I get my inspiration back, I just go ham. I think that that. I think that is a reasonable thing to kind of uh, 
I don't want to say expect, but a reasonable thing to kind of say that I do as far as my, um, how my inspiration, you know, when it comes back, what I do. Um, and I think I just kind of go a little overboard and I just try and, and build like nothing had happened. And I think that's, I think that's a downside. I think too much of a good thing can be bad. And I don't think that it's, uh, it's a bad thing to acknowledge that. And we will connect this up perfectly. How about that? I like it. Okay. So now we've got this nice little path going through here. We're going to have to get some, uh, some slabs to, uh, be, be able to, uh, make this, this path, um, significantly easier on ourselves, but yeah, that'll work there. Okay. I wanted to make sure that the slabs would still work. That's why I brought it out by one. Okay. And then we're going to have to do stairs here. I, I don't, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We're, we're going to have to do stairs here. That's fine though. It's all good. It is all good in the hood. Um, let's take a nap. But yeah, that's that's something that I think is an important thing. Uh, where where do you find your inspiration? For one, how do how do you find your inspiration? Um, and then two, when you lose your inspiration for whatever it is, how do you respond when you get your inspiration back? That's that's the question of the day. Let's let's do that. The question of the day is how do you respond when you lose your inspiration and how does that, you know, affect you after you get it back? So that is that is the question of the day. I would love to hear. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. I was about ready to sneeze there. I, I would love to hear your guys' responses to that because obviously we're all here to help. And if there's something that you guys do that I might be able to, you know, <laughs> take for myself. And have it work. That's that's something that I definitely want uh, to kind of give a shot for. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's an interesting concept, and I kind of want to, you know, I, I kind of want to figure out how I would, you know, respond to that. So basically, with this, um, so I think if we do this, and then kind of like this, and then we'll do two. Three, two, two. So basically, this is going to be our grass kind of archway here. Um, it's not perfect, but it doesn't need to be. And we're going to basically tear all this out and put grass down there. Okay. So yeah, that's uh, that's something as far as that goes. And then the other thing is when you do lose inspiration. Uh, do you move on to another project? And that's something that I've been trying to uh, basically fight with myself. Um, one thing that I have realized is that when I've lost inspiration, and this is looking back, and um, this is looking back on, on when I have lost inspiration and why why I think or what caused it. So, that is, um, that is, that is the, the, the major thing that I'm, I'm trying to figure out for myself. Um, Minecraft, or, uh, Windows. That now is not the time to tell me about all of the stuff. I am literally playing a game right now. The, the, like, these notifications are very, very annoying, and I'm about to turn them off entirely. Like to where I don't get notifications on this computer anymore. It's it's very annoying because it just makes a noise. What's um? Oh, and and there's there's a notification from yesterday. Like Windows, come on, come on, buddy. Hey, stop! <laughs> it's it's just ringing in my ears. Anyways, guys, thank you so much um for for the support. Um, what was I? Hmm. What was I saying? Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, what? One, two, three, four, five. I want to make sure that I get this square in because that's what I did over there. 
Yeah, because this is kind of like, uh, in, in fact, we should probably do it uh, seven. But uh, yeah, whatever, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Anyways, um, so basically, what have what what causes my la my inspiration to to falter? And I think a major thing is me taking on a project and then realizing it's going to take forever to do, um, such as Bronnerbis, such as Aluix, such as um, the uh, End City area, such as Raisley. All of these places that I have taken on, I, I, I knew it was going to take a long time. And my big question to myself is, how can I make this go faster? Because obviously I want this world to be done, you know, or I want, I want more stuff to be in this world. I want to have the ability to show it off and be super proud of it. Like I'm, I'm already super proud of it. I, I really, really love this world so very, very much. And I'm having so much fun building in it and, and doing all of this stuff. But sometimes I feel like it's not progressing fast enough. I, I look at servers and I, I'm, I'm not meaning to call you out, fix it, <laughs> because your server is set up in, or your, your, uh, yeah, your server, because that's what it is. Your server is set up so much differently than mine, and I just don't have the ability to, you know, move as quickly as what, you know, the realm of Vastin can, which is neither here nor there. Um, let's go ahead and dig up this dirt here and put some grass down so we can actually, um use it properly but um yeah so that's uh that's a major thing that i've kind of been struggling with i i want this world to be you know this big massive world and i i'm just one person and that's one thing that i've really enjoyed about the the brownie land um uh, style series that has kind of forced me to bring in people but, oh, geez, lag. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I don't know if you guys saw that on your, your end, but it has kind of forced me to bring people into this world. And we're going to have, oh, we need, we need slabs. Let's come over here because I don't know if I have any um, oak uh, slabs over here. I don't think I do, but it's worth a try. Um, yeah. So that, that's, that's what has been going through my mind. Oh, I do have oak slabs. How about that? And it's probably not going to be enough, but you know, whatever. Okay. Okay. Again, could be significantly better, but whatever. <laughs> we can deal with this for now. This is fine. This is going to be uh, just fine. So, ooh, geez. Okay. So I think what we should do is bring this out like this. So now we will do this number. And I think we're going to turn it like a so. And then we'll do this number. Oops. Yeah. So I would love to know kind of your guys' thoughts on, on some of the stuff that we've talked about so far today. Um, it is obviously something that a lot of people go through. Um, if you think you're the only one that goes through waves of inspiration, um, I've got some, depending on how you look at it, bad news slash good news for you. We'll do this and then this right here. Perfect. And what we could probably do is just continue on like a so. We'll get that piece again. Basically, just coming straight down um, might work. I don't know exactly how that's going to, to look, but it might have been enough. Okay. I mean, fair enough, right? Fair enough. 
I think what we could do is basically bring it straight at this point, and then we can have it come down. So I'm going to go ahead and do uh, that number there then. Um, yeah. But thank, thank you guys again for all this love and the support. Um, yeah, it's it's been it's been fun. It's been fun. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, your thoughts obviously are very very important to me. What you guys think about the world? What you guys think about uh, the question I have for you? How do you get out of your inspiration block and all that stuff? Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me. Unfortunately, I've run out of time for this episode um, of Minecraft, but. Hey, we'll be back again here very, very soon for another episode in Brownie Land, and uh, I can't wait to show you the next project. Oh, man. I'm so excited because I have, I have some great lore for this. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. And um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it and want to see more content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But guys, that's going to do it for me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.